Yay! All right, today we are making zucchini herb rice on In the Kitchen with Dominique. This is my favorite side dish to make alongside with whether it's steak, some good shrimp or chicken, whatever it is that you're making, this is what you need to make for your perfect side dish. It's so easy to make, it's ridiculous. So in my pan, I have two tablespoons of olive oil and two tablespoons of butter that's melting with two bay leaves. So think two, two, two. Two tablespoons of butter, two tablespoons of olive oil, and two bay leaves. And that's all you need right here. Um, oops, the bay leaves tried to come out. And I have half of an onion. So what I did was I turned the pan off after it starts to melt because you don't want the butter to burn. We don't want um, brown butter. We want just slightly melted butter for this. And then for our onion, oh my God, I'm cutting an onion. Lord, please don't let me cry. Okay, let's see if I can do it. So I'm going to cut this in really small dices. And we're going to saute this onion until it gets nice and translucent before we add our rice in. Okay, so we got that and the onion. And then we're going, once the onion hits the pan, then we know it's time to turn it back on. Let it do its thing. So this is going. So one thing I do is if you're in a rush and you're sauteing an onion, one thing I like to do is just grab the lid of the of the pot, place it on it, let that steam go, and let it just kind of like do its thing and kind of like speed up the process. I say this all the time. I am a mom of three and I simply don't have time. I'm always in a rush or if I'm not in a rush, even I like to maximize all my time with my kids, make sure I'm present, make sure I'm like playing around and stuff. So I'm always trying to think of like ways to kind of speed up dinner time to make sure that, you know, your time with your family is efficient, which is what In the Kitchen with Dominique is all about. It's not slaving in the kitchen for hours, but really maximizing that family time. So this is why I'm so passionate about this side dish, because I feel like it enables that to happen. So I'm going to go grab a top to this pan um, so that it continues to do its thing. Okay. Let's give it a quick toss and stir. Let the butter and olive oil get those onions translucent. Put that aside. And then we are just going to use half of the zucchini. You don't need a, the whole zucchini for this. So you can see I have a really nice fat and cute zucchini. I'm going to put this in um some fine dices because the, the, here's the thing we're always trying to figure out ways of including veggies with our kids and I feel like this is like such a way to really trick your kids into eating veggies so I'm cutting these on like little strips because I want these to be really finely diced for the zucchini rice that kind of rhymes I want these to be thinly and finely diced for the zucchini rice. That rhymes. That's kind of like my other phrase I came up with, which was lost in this sauce. I think I'm on a roll. What do you guys think? Is she on a roll or not? <laughs> Yay, I did it. Oops, one fell on the floor, but it's okay. It's not ready for the pot. It's a little scary. So, this... It's perfect, as you can see. These fine dices. Oh, yes. Those onions are going. We're going to get the zucchini in there. So one thing that inspired me to make the zucchini rice that I'll talk about a little bit is that, so I am half Cape Verdean. My mom is Cape Verdean. And my grandparents, on my mom's side, come from the Cape Verdean Islands. One dish that is so universal that I just remember having all the time is 
Jigasita, which is really Jag for short. Um, it's a it's a rice that has either peas or lima beans in it, or your choice with bean in it. Um, and it has like notes of like paprika or maybe like your cayenne pepper, whatever it is. And I think the more I started to make it, the more inspired I was to kind of re remake it to make it work for like other things that I was doing. So it reminded me of like, you, you know, your traditional cilantro and lime rice that you would, would use for, for like your Mexican Spanish dishes for like either enchiladas or your side dish for tacos. And one day I had some zucchini and I was like, oh my God, I need to like figure out a way to infuse this in some rice so that my kids will eat more veggies. And so I saw myself one day, I was making Jag, which I'll make on another show. And I was like, oh my God, like, let me, let me not do Jag again. Even though, you know, my family is obsessed with it. My husband has totally converted. He loves it. My kids love it. And I was like, let's make this like a veggie situation. You know, where let's get the zucchini in the pot and involved, you know, and included in the party. Um, and so I just, I chopped some, some zucchini up and I added it to the onion part. And it kind of disintegrated, but I was like, oh my God, my kids are eating zucchini and they don't even know it. I was like, what a win. So right now I'm adding seasoned salt, garlic powder, and some pepper. Oops, a little bit too much pepper. That side opened up and said, other one, it's okay. It was just enough. So we want this to really get situated, okay? okay. Mm, that smells amazing already. One thing I forgot to get was my um, my Old Bay. And the reason why I add Old Bay is because, let me make sure I'm correct on this. So yes, it has paprika. The paprika and the celery and the, the hints of heat and spices in it is exactly what you want to use for this rice. You just want it to have like a subtle hint on it. Okay, so that is going. And then I'm going to add two cups of rice to this. So now I added two and a half cups of rice to this. And what I want, I want this rice to get really brown, okay? So in order to make sure that's done, give it a little shake, make sure it's evenly coated throughout the bottom. And you're just gonna let that sit and go clean up. Don't think about it. You really want the rice to get brown because that's gonna make sure that it gets a really nutty flavor to it. Um, so yeah. And then we're going to come back and then add some water to it in a minute and show you how we finish it up. Okay, so it's been about 25 minutes that this rice has thoroughly steamed and simmered. What I'm going to do before we add the, um, the herbs to it is give it a quick toss. Just to make sure that it's fluffy and cooked throughout. And as you can see, what happens is that the zucchini kind of disintegrates a little bit. So it gets kind of like lost in there. Um which is an excellent way to trick your kids. We're going to take these bell, the, um, bell peppers, the bay leaves out of there. Nobody likes to eat bay leaves. I'm going to take those out, give it a quick toss. And then what I like to do is add just a touch of olive oil. Here is some olive oil. And then what makes it herb, the part for the zucchini and herbs, is the, um, the cilantro and the parsley that we're going to add to it. But first, what I like to do is just cut some green onion. This is going to be for the top part. Okay. 
I just love the bite of green onion on top of any kind of flavored rice. So we're going to put that aside. And then I'm going to take just a handful of parsley. Oh, not that much. A little less. And a good handful of cilantro. I love cilantro. Some people have a thing against it. I don't get it. I love it. I put on everything my eggs. You sort of like slice avocado in the morning on top of some toast, and it is amazing. So you make sure you chop this really fine. And you can pick, you know, whatever herbs you like, but I just I'm obsessed with the the combination of parsley and cilantro. I find them both to be on the opposite spectrums as far as flavoring. Parsley has a really subtle flavoring, but cilantro has like this burst of flavoring that's just amazing no matter what you're making. All right, so this is cut up really fine. We're going to take this and put this over the rice like so. And then we're going to fold this in like that look at how pretty this is going to look all that pop of green is just so gorgeous to me and then with the cilantro or with the green onion we're just gonna place that on top like so and this is what makes the perfect side dish guys I mean, don't ever say you don't know what to make with your chicken, steaks, fish. You can do this for tacos, whatever you want. I'm going to go grab a fork and taste this. Okay. So what I want, I want to make sure I get the rice, the herbs, and get me some zucchini. I want a green onion. Get it all on the same fork. Okay. Below it is going to be scorching hot. Mmm. That's perfect. Mmm. It has a very clean taste, which is what I love. Because when you're eating meat, you want something that's really going to cleanse your palate, but also complement at the same time. And I feel like you get that with my zucchini and herb rice. So I'm talking with a mouthful, but it's so good. Mmm. 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 -mm. I have to make another bite. It's so good. It's screaming good. Now I hope that you guys were inspired on today's show to make this as a perfect pairing to any kind of meat that you make. It's so good. I want you guys to make this. Send me an email at in the kitchen with Dominique at gmail.com and let me know how it turned out. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook and let me know. It's so good. I'm going to take another bite. It's that good. And you guys make this and let me know. Mm. Bye bye. Get out of here. Mmm. So good.